Hello and welcome to Best Disc Golf Discs video guide series. In this episode, we'll be discussing how to choose the best disc golf disc plastic. This week's topic comes from a subscriber question. Best Disc Golf Discs. I know that discs become less stable with wear, but I recently bought two brand new 170 gram Innova Destroyers, one Champion, one Pro, and they each fly completely differently. Why does this happen? There are dozens and dozens of proprietary plastic blends on the market that each have different looks, but what are the impacts of the disc plastics on the disc? Certainly the grip and the feel, the durability of the disc, but one thing that people don't often speak of is the impact on stability. This is what we're going to be focusing on today, as well as how that relates to the durability of the disc. To begin, one must understand a couple of key facts about plastic. One, it shrinks when it cools, and two, different plastic types and blends have different shrink characteristics. Most disc off discs are made with an injection molding process in which an extruder heats plastic resin pellets until they're melted, forces that liquid mixture into the mold, it's allowed to cool enough to hold its solid structure but certainly still hot, the mold opens, and the new disc falls out. Let's say when a disc first comes out of the mold it looks like this. As it continues to cool, the edges will turn down, a dome will begin to form, and as it cools and shrinks more, the edges will be pulled in further, creating more of a dome structure and more of a downward bend on the edges of the disc. Now depending on the plastic blend, the disc could stay something more resembling the green structure if it's made with a material that shrinks very little. With a material that shrinks quite a bit, it would end up looking something more like the red structure. In this way, several different disc profiles can be made with the same mold using different blends of material that shrink at different rates. While the dominance of the disc can be a gauge of stability, it's really a better indicator of how much glide the disc is going to provide. A more reliable marker is the parting line height, which is the separation line on the nose of the disc. As we compare the separation or parting lines, as they're called, in general terms, a higher parting line indicates a disc that had less shrink and as a result will have less turnover. A lower parting line indicated it had more shrink and will have more turnover. This phenomena is exactly why discs become understable with wear. As discs hit trees, impact on objects, the parting line is pushed down changing the aerodynamics of the disc and making it less stable with wear. Now as we take this back to our subscriber question, there were two destroyers of the same weight, one champion, one pro. From the end of a disc's website, the exact flight for any disc is dependent on the particular material it is made with. Champion plastic tends to produce the most high-speed stable discs, other than special runs of Starlight, followed by Star, DX, Pro, and R-Pro. So functionally, with a Champion and a Pro, our subscriber purchased two destroyers on opposite ends of the performance spectrum for a destroyer. While all of the discs are rated at minus one, a DX would probably be the most representative disc, a middle point for the line of destroyers, with a Champion leaning on the overstable side and a Pro Plastic leaning on the understable side. The moral of this story? Know your favorite brand's plastics. So we hope this helps. If you learned something today, we hope you'll click on the provided button to subscribe to our channel. Or if you'd like more information on this topic, click on the button to take you to our homepage where we provide links to all of the referenced material. And let us know what you'd like to see. We always want these videos to add valuable content for you and value our subscribers' questions. Until then, have a great round.